everybody welcome back i know it's been a while since we did a video like at all this year uh it's tuesday and it's a taco tech tip and it is hot today in the dino room right now we are at 100.6 degrees 25 percent humidity hot and dry 102 kpa that actually leads us to not a crazy correction factor um I'm not really going to get into that in this video, but I've got a 2013 STI on the dyno. This is a stage one car. It's just an intake and I think a cat back exhaust, stock downpipe, stock everything else. And just doing a little quick tune on it, but I wanted to talk about something that Subaru has kind of gone back and forth on over the years. And that is what the air conditioner does when you're wide open throttle. A lot of people in older cars talk about you turn the AC off and it's like you get supercharged, you know, you pick up a whole bunch of horsepower. And that was the case on, uh, you know, a lot of older cars. So we're gonna see what it happens on a 13 STI when we run it with the AC on and with the AC off. So we did our pull with the AC on and the AC off. And this, like I said, this is a stage one car. It's not uh, not big power by any means to the wheels on a 100 degree day. We were 247 horse, 286 torque. And you can see right here, there's this little dip. This little funny dip right here. And I don't wanna talk about what that is. That's actually the air conditioner compressor was on the entire pull until 5,700 RPMs when it finally shuts off and we see a big bump in power. Now what happened when we did the pull with the AC off? This is the same tune, back-to-back -back pulls. Arguably, this pull should make less power because it's a hot motor, back-to-back -back pulls. Whoa! Peak power, 259.3. Peak torque, 306.3. We picked up 20 foot-pounds of torque down here. And peak power right here especially is up, you know, 12, 12 horsepower. You look past that 5700, it's almost the same. Pretty negligible pass there. Uh, but before that, that's a massive gain. So I think you could say, it's at least safe to say that uh, modern car, we're back to the old days of when you turn that AC off, it's thrusters engaged. I mean, that's, that's a huge 20 foot pounds of torque. That's like 8% more torque just by turning the AC off. Random nerdy thing. Uh, 700 RPMs, 0.28 calculated load, 3.3 mass airflow. Let's hit it. Oh, 0 0.37, 0 0.39, 500, or sorry, 50 RPMs more and almost an entire extra gram of air required. Be interesting if my RPM was the same, but you can see the load difference. Let's turn that off here. That is fun little percentage. We're going to do some math here. 0.3 to 0.3, we'll say 0.38. So let's do some math. Math time, math time. 0.3 divided by 0.38 equals 0 0.78. So 11% more load at idle. How much of that percentage went through total loss on the car. Let's pull up that graph again. All right, we've got right here at peak load, 304, so we'll get the other way, 276.8 divided by 304.83 equals uh, 90, so we're about 9.2. So that means it's almost, I mean, it's almost parasitic. 
9.2%, it was 11% at idle. This is 9.2 on the actual torque output there. Let's see right here. So as we go up in RPMs, we get slightly more efficient. Now we're down to 7.7% loss. But that's crazy. It's just a flat percentage from everywhere. It's not a flat number like you would expect. It doesn't just take five horsepower to move that thing. It's just a straight percentage. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. A um, little bit of nerd math and air conditioning so stay cool and stay hydrated and stay safe and have a wonderful tuesday eat some tacos and probably drink some beer you know because that goes well with tacos thanks for watching